2.02. All right, if RBTs become aware that a client's legal rights are being violated, or if there is risk of harm, RBTs must take the necessary action to protect the clients. This includes, but is not limited to, one, the contacting relevant authorities, two, following organizational policies, three, consulting with their supervisor, four, documenting their efforts to address the matter. We deal with all of the populations, all the family backgrounds, all the client backgrounds, you name it, if it's in the environment, at some point we're gonna run into it. So what your job becomes is contacting and being steady communication with your BCBA. You either clinic or in-home setting. We're mandatory reporters. If things don't change, we have to um, connect with CPS. We don't like doing it, but we do it with the best interest of the client. And sometimes it's literally just finding supports for the families. We've done that plenty of times. And that's what those agencies are about. Sometimes it's just like, hey, you really need help getting to clinic? Let's see what type of things we could organize, like a bus ride or a taxi to get to here so that we can do best by 